Hey guys, Coach Ben here, BigBenches.com. Today I wanted to touch a little bit more on the toes back positioning for leg drive on the bench press. I know I cover extensively feet out wide and flat. That's because I'm just a bigger proponent of that. I like to teach that just because I, I find it's a lot easier for people to learn off the bat. Plus I think it equates to a more stable base and a stronger leg drive. For the majority of people that I personally work with um, but the legs back is a great way to create leg drive and good positioning as well on the bench and I know a lot of great coaches like to teach the legs back positioning so I'm gonna cover that a little more extensively in this video for you uh, how to actually create that leg drive um, the benefits of it and what you're actually doing when you're benching with your toes back your heels off the ground so what that looks like for those of you who aren't familiar with what I'm talking about yet is we get our setup on the bench All right nice and tight getting the shoulders pinched underneath us now instead of wiggling my feet out I'm gonna wiggle my feet back and I'm probably gonna keep it very close to the bench all right so I'm gonna wiggle my toes back now the mistake you see often is people getting on their tippy toes all right, so I can't really create a strong leg drive when I'm on my tippy toes. All right, so I'm going to bring it out till I'm on the balls of my feet. All right, the balls of my toes. So from this position, right, what I'm doing is I'm driving my heels down to keep my body tight and create that positioning. All right, so as opposed to the feet out flat, where I'm trying to push myself aggressively back on the bench to create my stable ba base, and leg drive what I'm doing here on the balls of the toes I'm driving the heels down and the heels aren't actually going to touch the floor but just the act of me driving my heels down is going to keep my body tight and I'm going to get my chest up a little more so people usually find that the toes back creates better positioning they can create a little higher of an arch uh, in order to cut that range of motion versus the feet out flat so if you find that you're getting more out of the increased position rather than um, more leg drive then the toes back might be for you if you have a hard time getting your feet out flat keeping your butt down you have a longer leg something like that toes back is probably going to be for you because that's going to allow you to get your knees underneath your hips and your butt's going to be planted on this bench all right so just to cover that again, feet are tucked in, balls of my feet, I'm driving my heels down. You can see how my body lifts when I do that, right? Driving my heels down and my chest is rising up and I'm much tighter in this position when I'm driving down. Uh, that's the other big mistake that I wanted to touch upon in this video is when people bench with their leg drive like this, uh, what I see often is the bar coming down, right? And then they kick it in right off the chest. Boom, right there. Boom. Now, you might get a good pop off the chest using leg drive like that in this position. However, uh, if you maintain that heel drive the whole time, so we're talking about maintaining that right from the start. See how I start driving my heels right at the start? I don't wait for it to come down to my chest in order to start getting that heel drive. So I'm getting that heel drive, heels, heels, heels. And the entire time I'm lowering that bar, I'm driving my heels into the ground, all right? So this is gonna keep me a little more stable, right? And I'm gonna keep my positioning up, which is the biggest thing, all right? So that's a big mistake I see a lot of people make is they try to kick that heel drive in right at the bottom. Now, if you're taking that bar down, you need most of your tightness on the descent, right? You have to land that bar in the perfect spot where you can explode through the bar um, right in that correct bar path that you need to finish the lift. All right, so if you're not tight as possible on the way down, you're gonna have a hard time doing that. So in this position, you wanna kick that heel drive in from the start. So it's kind of like benching out feet flat where you're initiating that push back from the very start, the get-go, before that bar even comes out. Same thing with this leg drive. You wanna activate that heel drive from the very start. Get your hand off, pull into position. I feel a lot of strain on my quads right now. Land that bar, 
boom. All right, I'm still getting a good pop off my chest because I'm nice and stable. My heels are driving into the floor really, really hard. Um, but the biggest thing, I'm maintaining that position. I'm keeping my chest up and I'm very stable coming down with the bar, all right? So I just wanted to cover that for you guys. I know a lot of you like to use the toes back and that's perfectly fine. More power to you if you like that more. Uh, I do think it creates a little bit better positioning. It's easier to keep your butt on the bench um, to each your own. Try out both styles, see what you like. But that's the toes back. Um, those are a couple mistakes that I see often with it. Uh, mainly being on your tippy toes versus the balls of your feet and then not initiating that leg drive from the very start. So I hope that video guys helped you out. Uh, tag a friend, comment below if you want to see more on leg drive uh, and just share out the video. I really appreciate that. I'm Coach Ben. You know where to find me. You can meet me on a bench.